Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna share with you how I assemble my packet for adjustment of status together with uh, together with form I-131 and form I-765. So in this video, I'm gonna show with you how did I assemble my entire packet. So without any further ado, let's get started. I know it's a game I might gotta play But maybe you should do whatever you need to erase me It's not just a game You think I'm gonna play But maybe you should do whatever you need to erase me So ayan guys, I have different four folders and ganito yung laman ng um, form I-75 ko or yun. Ito yung application for employment authorization and I just put with supporting documents. So, in first, I just put my picture right there or yung to buy to picture new. And that one, I just cover all the information right there. So, that's my G1145 and um, the seven pages of four form i-765 and i attach also my passport bio page um the copy of my k-1 visa page and my form i-94 and our marriage certificate and the copy of my vaccination card so yan lang yung laman ng application for employment authorization ko yan yung laman ng aking um form I-131 or application for travel document or advance parole. So, ito yung laman ng um, folder na para sa form na ito. So, first, um, in my front page, so, yan yung picture ko and then um, the form or G1, G1145 and then so, ayan guys, you just put your information over there, just cover it and then the next one is yung form I-131, so it's five pages, and then my passport by your page, and ganun pa rin yung copy ng K-1 visa page ko, and my form I-1, uh, my form I-94, and my, our marriage certificate so yung copy ng marriage certificate namin at saka yung vaccination um copy ng vaccination card ko so yan yung laman ng um folder na yan or yun yan yung form i131 ko so ito naman guys i just separate it yung form i864 or ito yung affidavit of support so um ito yung galing kay hubby and uh, yung laman nito is yung form ng I-864 or yung form I-864 at saka yung taxes niya at saka yung passport by page niya and yung birth certificate niya. So, ito yung laman na nandito sa loob. So, ito yung mga laman ng form I-485 ko or ito yung application for adjustment of status. So, ipapakita ko sa inyo ang laman ng folder na ito. So, ganito yun guys. Yung laman ng paper na ito and first yung payment ng um, 1,225 na US dollar for um, for payment para sa adjustment of status and then sunod yung aking G1145 and yung form for adjustment of status yun yung 18 pages and then copy ng copy ng Nowatuko and my birth certificate passport by your page K1 visa and then I94 yung picture ko na dalawa so ayan and copy ng pictures namin at saka vaccination card ko at saka yung DS3025 at saka um, yung supporting documents niya para sa affidavit of support, sinipirate ko na lang kanina sa ibang folder. So, yan lang guys yung mga laman ng aking um, adjustment of status. So, guys, ito na lahat laman ng packet ko. So, sinama ko na rin yung application for 
employment authorization at saka yung form I-131 sa adjustment of status ko. So, we're ready to mail it to USCIS. So, guys, that's how I assemble my entire packet and I already uh, mailed it to USCIS and then within a few days, I already received a text so like this and uh, in a few days, it's just one week, I already... I already received that text and then I track it online. You can go to this and then you can track it online and luckily it already shows uh, it, it already shows like this that we oh, they already schedule my biometric. So but but for now so since we're right here in Florida and we're going back home on Sunday so I did not know yet uh, what is the it, what is the exact date for my biometric so that's it guys uh and i'm gonna share with you um the next update for my um for my application